Now we're on page 114. This is example 1A. Let's take a look. We have one flat, a B flat, which means we're in the key of F major. Let's analyze the harmonies in the left hand. We have a one chord. Then we have here, we've actually got a three chord here, minor three chord. And then it goes down to a four chord. In the six inversion, I should put the inversion symbols here. And then we go to the five, six, five um, here. And then back to the one chord. Left hand fingering. This will be just a one chord normally. And then we have a five, two, one. And a five, three, one. Back to a five, two, one. And back to, of course, the one chord. So we have a couple chords that are a little bit new. Let's try playing these as block chords. One chord, F major. Okay. To get to the minor three chord, all you're going to do is move your fifth finger down to E. Like that. So very easy. Let's try going from the one chord to the three chord like that. So notice the top two notes stay the same. From there, to get to the four chord in the first inversion, we go to D, F, B flat. Like that. Let's try just the first three chords. Here we go. F major. Then A minor. And then B flat major. Once again, F major, down to D A C, and down to D F B flat. When you're comfortable with that, then you can go to the 5 7, which is going to be E, B flat, C, and then back to 1. 5 7, 1, 5 7, 1. Now let's try the whole left hand together. Here we go. One chord. Two, down to the minor, three, six, four, two, down to the four, six, D, F, B flat, and then back to the five, six, five, E, B flat, C, and then back to the one chord, F, A, C. Okay, so drill that, work that, and then when you have the left hand down, then let's look at the right hand. Right hand, we look at the note parameters to see where the lowest and highest notes are. Now the lowest note is actually this E, Okay, but I see that the highest note is a C here. So let's just assume that we start in F major position, which means 3, 2, 1, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5. And then we can just stretch. We can just stretch to the E here, and then second finger in F. And if we want to, we can even write the note E here, just to remind ourselves that we're stretching. Otherwise, this is really easy. We do have a B flat. We can write that as cautionary ac accidental, but that should be fairly obvious as this is in F major. Okay, let's try the right hand by itself. Starting third finger on the A. One and two and three. Three and two, one. Three, two, five, four and two. Three, two, five. Stretch a little bit to the E. E, then F. Let's do that one more time, this time with just the counting. One, two, here we go. One, and two, and three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, one, two. Stretch to E, then to F. When you're comfortable there, we can do it really slowly, hands together. Go really slowly, give yourself time to think about the left hand transitions. Here we go. One and two, and here we go. One and two, and three. Now down to the three chord. E, A, C, two, and three. Down to D, F, B flat. One and two. Three back to the five six five E B flat C, especially E, and then back to the one chord. Feel free to rewind the video. You can slow it down even, but work that slowly first. When you can play that steadily, then do it another four times or so, and you'll be able to get a little bit more fluid. And try to get to around this speed. One.
two, three, one, and two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and I'll see you in the next video.